So the Oklahoma Sooners have had a busy offseason, but it's been an impressive one, and we've had the chance to talk about a lot of the moves that the Sooners have made. But today, we need to talk about a move we haven't had the chance to sit down and discuss yet, and that's the Oklahoma Sooners bringing in Tui Walker, the running back that possesses a ton of ability and versatility, and today we need to talk about why this could be a major win for the Oklahoma Sooners and vice versa. But before we do, as always, y'all know the drill, I want to hear from you. Hop down to the comments, why for yes and for no. Are you excited that the Sooners bring in Walker and let me know what you're thinking? If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoy the content, like and comment down below. Those interactions truly may seem small, but they are massive to content creators such as myself in both getting picked up and maintained by the YouTube algorithm. But with all of that being said, let's hop right into this because Walker is an intriguing prospect and one that possesses a lot of versatility. During his time at East Coast Prep, he recorded a verified 40 of 455 and a 31 inch vertical. And he's a former defensive back that ended up transitioning to the running back position, which shows you an understanding of not only multiple positions, but a deep athletic skill set that you can play and succeed at multiple different positions. So Walker has the versatility that so many institutions are looking for at that running back position now. And going to East Coast Prep, he not only received very nice verified numbers, but a lot of praise from the coaching staff there. The coaching staff referring to Walker as a team MVP type player, an extremely hard worker with good hands, a lot of versatility, good vision, and the ability to be a willing blocker. And if you're sitting there listening to all of those accolades piled upon a running back, and you're in a position where you need a running back, you jump at the opportunity to take that guy, especially when that guy backs that high praise up with almost a thousand yard season during his time at a junior college. So Walker is a guy that possesses a ton of ability. He's got burst, he's got vision, he's got good hands, and that versatility, I think, will play into what Lebby wants to do. If we look at what Lebby did at Ole Miss, that RPO scheme will allow running backs to affect a defense in various ways, and when you look at what Oklahoma has in the running back room, I think Walker is going to fit in seamlessly and could be an individual that could benefit the Oklahoma Sooners. And one of the reasons why I'm so high on this move is when we look at what the Sooners had a problem with last season, and that was enough bodies in that running back room. Eric Gray is a versatile back, and Kennedy Brooks is an absolute beast. But even then, only having those two scholarship backs for the majority of the season before Marcus Major came back had its toll on the Oklahoma Sooners, and many were wondering if that was a possible reason why we weren't seeing a whole lot of action out the running back room because there just weren't a whole lot of bodies. Now, Oklahoma did a fantastic job in recruiting and getting Javante Barnes and Gavin Sawchuck, two dudes who every institution in the nation would be over the moon to add into their running back room because they both possess a ton of ability. They're both names we need to remember, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw either one of them be able to continue contribute sooner rather than later because of the versatility I think they all bring to the table. And that's, I think, the intriguing thing. Lebby's offense is one that's going to utilize several different factors within its RPO. So having a healthy, full running back room is something that could be a major positive for the Sooners because they're always going to have a face to turn to that they have faith in. And that that's paramount because coming from an Alabama fan, Bama had a loaded running back room last year. A ton of talented dudes, but the injury bug bit, and at the end of the season, there were only two names out of a room that possessed three five-stars and three four-stars that were remaining healthy. The running backs take a beating in college football and in football in general, so having a bunch of dudes that you have faith in to get the job done at a high level is big. Now, aside from even just adding in another talented running back to that running back room, the other thing I love about Walker, aside from his versatility and where he fits in with the other names, is the fact that he has collegiate experience. I don't care if it's from a JUCO. This is an individual that has had to grind. He's had to work. The coaches at East Coast Prep praise that hard work. He goes to JUCO and is only a few yards away from a 1,000-yard season. So he's somebody that has experienced a level of football above high school, and he can make that transition a bit easier because he already knows what it entails. But ultimately, I think when I look at this move, one of the things that's so cool, and I've said it before, so if you're an OG to this channel, you would have certainly heard this, 
I love how DeMarco Murray is so active in recruiting, and I love that the Oklahoma Sooners brought him in. DeMarco Murray being a sensational college running back, but then having sustained success in the NFL is a massive chip to these young running backs because that's the ultimate goal, to have a great college career and for a lot of these guys to make it to the NFL. So whenever you get to put them in front of a dude that knows how to get them there because they did it themselves, that just hits a bit different in my opinion. Or if I was a running back being recruited, that would hit a bit different to me. The ability to have a running back coach that has been able to coach up dudes and send them to the league, but also was a running back that had sustained success not only in college, but in the NFL would be a major win to me. I've talked about before how if Alabama could add in Mark Ingram when he retires to that running back coach, I would be over the moon. Robert Gillespie has done an incredible job, but... I think you can see the tangible results DeMarco Murray gives because of his experience, and it's working, and so it's awesome to see. And so at the end of the day, Walker gets a chance to come to Oklahoma, a major institution that is known for putting out talented running backs, and he gets to showcase his ability in a room that has talented backs now. And if you're an Oklahoma fan, coming from the season you just had, where one of the things we were talking about from the onset of the season on was the lack of healthy bodies in that running back room, you're now entering a season where you have Marcus Major, you have Eric Gray, you have Walker, you have Javante Barnes, you have Gavin Sawchuk. So there's a lot of names in that room. And so at the end of the day, with this new offensive coordinator in Jeff Levy, the new direction Oklahoma's offense will be heading, a healthy stable of talented running backs could be big. And the name Walker is one that we need to keep in the forefront of our minds because of his versatility, his burst, his speed, his power, his willingness to block. He's a guy that can come in and really lend himself to positive success. But I also think Oklahoma is going to do Walker a ton of good. Can't wait to see what he does. But more importantly, I can't wait to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Let me know what you're thinking about the Oklahoma Sooners adding in another talented running back because I think that could be a big move. That's it. See you.